Hey guys, in this video we're going over a few examples on head loss. So here's our first one. Um, we're going to need to use our head loss equation in this question since we've been asked directly to find head loss. Um, we've been given flow rate and diameter, so let's find our velocity. So we're just trying to find each of the terms in this equation um, and we've been, we can find our velocity from Q and uh, Q equals VA. So subbing in our values for that, we're given 0 0.02 meters cubed per second and we're dividing that by pi d squared on 4. d was 0 0.5, 0 0.05 squared times pi on 4 and that simplifies down to 10.19 meters per second. For length, we were told to set it at 5 meters from the question. So L equals 5, D we just said was 0 0.05 meters, that was also from the question. RE we can find from the velocity we found, so that's 998 times 10.19 times 0 0.05 divided by 1.002 times 10 to the minus 3, so our Reynolds number is equal to... 507,262.7 which is approximately 5.07 times 10 to the 5. It always is easier to uh, revert back to scientific notation because a uh, Moody diagram uh, has the bottom axis which is Reynolds number in terms of scientific notation. So that's why I've done that and we need to find the friction factor in our equation well, that's that's part of the equation. So we need we've got re. We need to find relative roughness. Uh, we were given the roughness as 0 0.00005 divided by 0 0.05 is 0.001. So now we're using the Moody diagram for this value of Reynolds number and this value. 